Today's video is going to be on the topic of uh, plant spacing in DWC setup. Uh, what we're looking at here is a pool of lalic lettuce. This lalic lettuce is a very unique breed of lettuce. See, it's a bit curly. Uh, what's unique about it is the amount of spacing, actual, actually the, the minimal spacing it needs in order to thrive. And from that we can determine uh, many other things, including uh, other breeds uh, spacing with this technique that I'm about to show you today. Uh, what you'll need is a, a basically a ruler or a measurement and what you would want to do in order to determine a, a correct spacing for a plant is first you need to uh, grow it um, without any uh, uh, limitations on its uh, actual size you want to see how uh, big the plant can reach on its own without any intervention and, and with no constraints on space and once you figure that you can actually measure the plant as I'm about to show you and uh, determine using the measuring tape or uh, ruler the size, the diameter it needs in order to reach its full potential when you're growing commercially, you actually are uh, in between deciding if you want to go full uh, uh, to maximize the size of the lettuce, uh, if space is uh, a factor. If space is not a factor, you want to grow, you want to let it grow uh, as big as it can get uh, in order for you to enjoy it. But if you're growing commercially and you want to be able to um, maximize your crop, your yield, your total number of units sold, then you need to determine the correct spacing because uh, the, 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 the diameter or the spacing between holes will impact the number of heads that you can harvest from each uh, pool. Your pool is the limiting factor and you want to be able to maximize the number of heads you pull out from every pool uh, monthly. So if I measure this lalic lettuce and I'm going from one side to the other, I can get to a maximum here with this spacing, which is 15 centimeters between hole to 17 centimeters. From that point, uh, that uh, uh, shorter than distance than that that will impact the the growth and and truly you can see that some of the lettuce here are impacted by the very uh, high proximity between uh, holes so on average most lettuces reach in their full stage and these are quite overdue uh, a 17 centimeters diameter so from there I can determine that I can I will need to have a, at least a distance between a hole and a, between the holes 17 centimeters and uh, now the way to correctly space them out is to do the um, to have them in the triangular shape what I mean triangular you have a, a plant that is situated between two other plants and uh, above that there will be another plant this one is dead but above that this head let's assume this one is still alive you'll have two more heads so basically it's a crisscross you don't want uh, sometimes you want to maximize the spacing you don't want them one after another you want them to be able to have the distance uh, across so this is the red salanova and the correct spacing for it 
that I believe is the best is uh, is currently uh, 20 centimeters because the diameter when it's fully maximized unlike here it's not yet fully developed but it will reach at least 20 centimeters of diameter so currently our uh, our approach is to distance them between uh, holes is 20 centimeters but I believe in the summer we can even go shorter than that because they grow quite smaller in the summer uh, it's winter they are very big uh, quite big but in the summer I think we can go down to even 17 centimeters so to recap in order to uh, determine the correct spacing you have to look at each plant on its own I'm going to show you another plant that has uh, the most uh, efficient uh, growth to density or spacing we actually can reach uh, even uh, I think uh, 12 centimeters but actually this one has a very it's a very tall plant you know that like the romaine but it's not like uh, its diameter is quite small and it mostly grows to the top so what we're looking at is 15 centimeters between a plant depending the diameter or the size you want it to reach but we found that actually 15 centimeters is more than suffice to get a good crop and a good yield from every tray and that's how we maximize our uh, the our crop every month we want to get as many heads as out of the out of the pools as possible so we do that by correct spacing and we plan our pools depending on the spacing and i will probably show that in another video how to plan uh, a tray how to uh, design a tray correctly uh, using solidworks if anybody has that uh, designer tool but you don't have to do that you can also do that with a regular uh, pen and paper you can measure out the the proper distance uh, depending on the crop that you want to grow how to de determine the correct uh, uh, styrofoam wrapped size and all so if you enjoy this content uh, please like share subscribe do whatever and we bring you more content from our uh, hydroponic farm which is located in Beit Shemesh, Israel and you're welcome to ask me any question you want I'll be sure to answer all questions and uh, have a great day